G'day guys, I'm back with just a little pour for you today. Uh, I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to do a slightly thicker mix for you just so that you can see the difference. Normally I do a 3 to 1 mix, today I'm doing a 2 to 1 mix, that's 2 parts flow troll to 1 part paint. And the paint I'm using is the Global Impasto. It's quite a, a thick paint, sort of like yogurt consistency. So we've got the navy blue, we've got cobalt blue, we've got a pale blue and some gold, metallic gold, and then I'm going to swipe with white. So as I said, <clears throat> they're all two to one. The white, because it's the swipe colour, I've made it slightly thinner, so that's three to one. And I'm going to add some treadmill silicone in each. So I've got uh, 60 grams of Floetrol, and 30 grams of paint, that's 90 grams, one drop per 30 grams, so three drops, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, got a little bit more of the navy, I'm going to put four in there, one, two, three, four, I really like navy, you need a dark colour if you're having a light swipe, otherwise the cells just won't show up. So, one, two, three, little stir, one, two, three, one, two, three, and as per usual, I write on the back of my card, this is a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch, it's just a thick card that I buy, thick paper, and I write on the back what I've done, and um, ratio so that I can remember each time what works and what doesn't work. Okay, so... Move these out of the way. So to begin with, I'm going to pour the paint onto the card. I'm going to swipe horizontally, so I'm going to pour vertically. going for a slightly stripy look so I'm going to pour them like that and I like my colors to overlap a little bit especially the lighter ones I'll overlap the lighter ones if you try and swipe a white over that it's not really going to make very good cells you'll hardly see them you have to have the contrast of your navy with um, a light color so I'm just going to pour the this pale blue over the top or next to my navy so that the cells will show up. And the gold, I only want a drizzle of gold so I'm just going to drizzle it up and down don't want the gold too thick, I don't want it to take over. That should do. And I've left a, a gap at the top there for the white. Now what I'm going to do is just tilt side to side. I didn't use all that paint because I'm going to tilt. If you left that much paint on there, um, when you do swipe, you'll pull it all off or if you've got too much left on there, the cells will just be too big and um, they, they won't stay in their nice shape. They'll, after a while, because the paint's all moved and shifted, the cells will be all out of shape. So always try and get a little bit of paint off before you start. You just won't get a good result if you've left too much paint on there. Quite a thick mix, it's moving slowly. Tilt this way towards me just to pull a little bit more of it off. Okay, just have to move that down a touch. Leave some room for my white. Okay, pull the white. 
hat schon. And just push it into those little spots there where we don't have any paint. We don't have to have a, a straight line across the top. I think it's nice to have a little bit of a variation. And what I'm using to swipe with is a piece of plastic. Um, it was a document holder that I cut up. So it had two sides, a front and a back. And uh, I just cut it open. And so I have two sheets of plastic to swipe with. I just need my heat gun for later. There we go. All right, now when you swipe, don't start right at the very top, come down about a centimetre, quarter of an inch or so and just lay your plastic down so that it touches the white. Make sure it's touching all the way along. You're not going to put any pressure on that, you're not going to push down at all. All you're going to do, take a step backwards and just pull gently towards you. I'm not applying any pressure at all. Just pulling it gently towards me and that's it and the good thing with these plastic is you can just wipe your paint off and then you can just clean that plastic now that's all I'm going to do I'm going to torch you don't want to keep going over and over and over You're better off just going once so I'm going to torch lightly to bring up some cells mix like this the two to one you get smaller cells um, if that's what you're after then go for the thicker mix the two to one if you want bigger cells go for a thinner mix three to one because the paint is thinner it moves better it stretches more so your cells will stretch more um, a thicker paint doesn't move very much so your cells aren't going to move very much and as I was saying earlier, where the, the pale blue is, when you swipe over it, you really can't see the definition of the cells all that well. Whereas when you have your darker colours against the white, it really pops. Um, I still will get some cells through um, over the next little while as they come up. Um, where the paint was thicker here at the top, um, you don't get as many cells in the thick paint, but as the white is um, swipe down the white gets thinner and thinner and so you get more cells down the bottom as you can see here so that is a swipe with two to one Let's see if I get any more cells to pop up over here not really The cells on a two-to-one mix are, I think, a nicer shape. They keep their shape, they're more circular. Once you start going to a thinner mix, um, and yes, your cells will be bigger, but they might stretch out of shape a little bit, and they might not be so round. So anyway, I will do another one. Um, not today, because I've got a class on shortly, but um, I'll do another one with the three to one mix and you can see what the difference is. I'll just come around and zoom in for you.
So there you go. Bye for now.